Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on upgrading the firmware for the Cuddyback cameras. Uh, we have here two of the G series we used last year. They worked quite well. Badger says hello. And we are going to upgrade to the new firmware because we should have some new tools like being able to uh, change settings from the computer and so on like a lot of other uh, cameras like Moultrie even though some of those we're sending back because they don't work. So before we buy into the Cuddyback system, uh, we're gonna test out these new uh, firmwares. We're also gonna be using some Rayovac batteries that we did not try last year. If you saw the video where I compared um, Stealth Cam Moultrie and Cuddyback cameras, I'll link it above if you haven't seen it. Um, but I talked about this a little bit and the when I had called in, um, uh, a rep had mentioned to me that they actually recommend typically using the Rayovac batteries uh, because every once in a while, like a camera would only last a month or so with not that many pictures. Uh, so before we buy a few more of the Cuddybacks and really get going, we are gonna test those. So I will keep you posted on uh, how those batteries do. In addition, I will plan on getting the battery pack adapters uh, where you can actually, you, you get a case that has 12 additional batteries and it goes on to the back of the camera and attaches and gives you uh, an extra 12 batteries of life. So um, I think that's very neat. And I saw the uh, Midwest Whitetail guys, they were using them and they said they got probably six months or so of battery, which would be great. Um, you know, not trying to interrupt the cameras during the season, stick those on and that's perfectly fine. You'll have what, 12 plus I think six or so. Uh, so 18D batteries to, to power a camera. They also do make a solar panel as well haven't really heard too much, but if you're gonna be setting a camera on a field or something of that nature, it would be nice because you have almost unlimited uh, power at that point. So um, other than that, we're gonna step over to the computer and take a look. We also are gonna be testing out some Rayovac uh, AA batteries. They are just a lot cheaper again, so we'll keep you guys posted on how those work made in the USA, so that's kind of neat. Uh, here I have our card reader. Um, and the card inside that I'm going to be using for this firmware update. It's just a, a 32 gig uh, class 10 card you can see right there. And uh, most cameras are good up to 16 or 32. Sorry, trying to do this with one hand. So we will slip this into the computer. And I am on the Cuddyback website, if you can see that. Uh, it's just cuddyback.com. Uh, or slash gen2, uh, but cuddyback.com basically, and you will see these tabs up here in the corner. Uh, typically I would just do a screen recording, but I thought this would be a little easier uh, to handle, uh, at least to kind of walk through the entire process. All right, so up here in the corner, you have update firmware and the get gen2 firmware. Now the gen2 is what I was talking about, so we're gonna click that, and the new page is gonna load. And then right over here in this uh, corner it says click for full details and we're gonna go ahead up oh, I'm sorry we don't need the details if you do need um, any additional instructions you can click on that however here are the instructions just for the firmware you basically just need to follow the steps download the firmware right here click to download on a Mac goes to your download folder whoops that was not right and then we will open up the folder that we just clicked to download. All right, so again, we can go back, but basically uh, the next step says to copy this file. All right, so we're gonna copy it. We're gonna come over to our SD card that we have populated here. And then what we wanna do is actually just paste it in this first column. Don't click on any of the folders and paste it in the folders paste the item right into that uh, first column. And from there, we're gonna go back to the SD card, we're gonna hit the eject button, and then I'm gonna take the card out of the computer. All right guys, so I have the SD card pulled from the computer. I'm gonna go to your Cuddyback card holder in the bottom, if I can get it. Oh, I guess I got another card. Stick the card in backwards, which is always kind of weird, but that's how they go in. All right, now that this is in, the next step is to probably put some batteries in the camera. All right, guys, so the 
Actually, it needs four batteries, so that's nice. We got that done. Okay, camera automatically says press up. You have the arrows right over here on this side. We'll press that up button. Clock, we can go through all these settings, yada, yada. But if you go to your instructions on the computer here, the next thing it says, load the firmware into all your Cuddy backs, insert the SD card, which we did, into the camera, press mode until commands. So this top, excuse me, this top left button, mode, until we get to commands, says it right there on the camera. All right, is displayed, press more until load FW shows. And mode is right below, or more is right below the mode button. Uh, all right, load F slash W appears on the camera. Uh, press up twice, it says confirm after the first time, then you press it again. Welcome will display on the LCD. It actually just says busy. And I believe this should be going through the firmware right now. It says busy. It's flashing on the uh, off and arm button. Looks like it's going green for arm. It says welcome will display on the LCD when the firmware is complete. We recommend doing a reset. But really that's it. Right now you can just see the arm Oh, it does say welcome now, boom. So just so you guys know, and again, I was doing this for the first time following the instructions, so you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. Uh, a couple lights went off uh, with the off button and then the arm uh, button was flashing green. I was assuming, I'm assuming that's just, um, you know, it taking in all of the uh, update. And now it looks like it says welcome and it's ready to go. It says press up again and you can now redo the camera. now. In the instructions, it does say that they recommend what it says, a reset on all cameras and reprogramming the settings. So if you do that, it's going to mean all the time, all the, you know, if you have multiple different uh, remote cameras, you know, you're gonna have to set this as the home camera, set the remote cameras afterwards, um, you know, redo any of the settings that you had previously. Um, what else does it say? After updating, wait until you receive the first email from your home camera, then visit the Cuddyback Camp website and view your cell camera. Um, and I believe you heard an email hit my inbox, which was not Cuddy back. But anyway, I've already used these cameras. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure that these are set up. They show up in my online, um, you know, product registration. Remember when you get a cell camera like this, um, it will not work unless it is activated. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna update my other camera. I'm gonna activate them before I put them out in a day or two, um, you know, pay for the plan and all that good stuff. Now that we have the cameras updated to the latest firmware, this Gen 2 firmware. I turned the cameras on, I got the settings going, established the date, time, put an SD card in there, formatted it already, got it good to go. I set uh, the home as the home camera, the, rem the remote as the remote camera, all that good stuff, how I wanted things. Um, but the other reason I wanted to do that really quick before I closed out the video is because I wanted the cell cam to connect to the network before I deployed them and because that's the main point of this firmware so I could show you guys. So I just did that and all the settings might not be uh, as I have them now because I turned the camera off. I didn't have it continuously updating uh, to waste battery, but at least what I initially started with, I'm gonna show you here. When you log in and you view your devices, down here you'll see a new tab, it says device settings. You click on device settings, that's where it comes right here. Uh, we have the, the home camera. All right, and then you can come over here. Now remember, all these settings are really established in the home camera. The remotes just send to the home camera. So it's just gonna remain this one. We'll click view and edit right here. And then boom, check this out. We have the names, the image rate, how many per day we get the report. I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, you know, last year when you were getting your report, but my phone was going off every morning around this time, and now we can change that, so I found that kind of funny. Uh, but very nice to be able to change all this other stuff. Um, being able to take a picture, I did not know this is a thing, we can always test it later, but a, a picture on command, um, or being able to clear the SD card if maybe you don't need the images, or for a, a random day or a week you had maybe, uh, you know, so many does or other deer go by that you didn't need to really save any and you can open up uh, some room. 
lifetime uh, images taken, all this cool data, uh, and then even monitoring the battery, how many cards are, are, excuse me, pictures are on the card. I think that is just such a great feature. It really brings Cuddy back up to a technology level, at least that other companies were at. So now if we can kind of narrow down uh, the best battery life for these cameras, the right batteries, maybe adding these, uh, you know, battery extenders or solar panels, like I mentioned onto them, I think that Cuddyback is gonna be an excellent choice. They're definitely a little bit more expensive, but I think we could all agree there are more expensive cameras out there. Uh, they still have a good warranty and, um, and the price is right for the, the cell plans, which is another reason. Unlimited, even month to month or annual, uh, if you wanted 30 bucks a year or 40 bucks a year, excuse me, uh, a month, um, for unlimited up to 16 cameras. So if you're running a property, we don't have that right now, but if you are, uh, I think um, over a lot of the other companies that might charge you $10 or $15 a month or more per camera, uh, you know, year in and year out, you'll save at least a little bit then. Um, plus I'd say the price for the Cuddy Bet cameras are right there kind of in the middle, usually, you know, a couple hundred bucks or, or so, a little more, a little less, depending on what you get. Um, but wanted to show you that real quick. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that works, but as simple as that, I'll take this card out. I'll probably erase the file folder that's on the card and I'll put it right back to use with the, with the rest of my, my cameras. Um, I don't know if it will work anyway with that file uh, for the firmware on the SD card. I'm assuming it will, but I think uh, like most of you, I don't want to take any chances. I want a clean card. I format it every time I put it in. Don't forget to do that. And, uh, and I'll put the cameras out, test them, and then uh, take off. So any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But I hope for anyone that was a little discouraged, uh, pretty easy to update the Cuddyback camera. And um, I'll keep you posted. Take care.